Okay, people, I must show you how you can create bridge between polygons when you use the surfaces in Blender. I'm using Blender 3.0 Alpha. And I will show you how you can turn this on, this add-on. I will also check uh, lights because I need the polygon on my scene. You go to edit preferences. In add-ons, you type the surfaces. It also tells you what version. Now I will show you in this video tutorial because I will be showing you what to do, how to connect to separate polygons. But we have to copy polygons in edit mode. Also pay attention how many segments those polygons have, because this is important too. And I will show you how I will create connection between curves, because this tool is amazing. What I done with this is very very beautiful. I also will show you projects. Okay, now we have got loops, like loop, loops. Uh, okay, I have to check how many segments. Uh, if we use uh, that number of the segments, should be okay, I believe. But I'm checking because, okay, this doesn't really matter because we only need that number of segments. You need to copy your polygon in edit mode because we will only have one polygon. This is actually very very important. Vessel, ve vessel is very very bridge. Why I call it this? Because we can, we will create beautiful bridge between two polygons. And I will call this the surfaces 1.8.0 bridge. Uh, why that name not longer? Because I will show you in a minute. You can also, you have to you see this? You have to click on that in edit option. We have mesh of the surface. We select this. Now we will be using annotate tool. But please, because this is important. Uh, points, this must... Uh, you have to connect uh, points. But we will do this later on. Because you can convert annotations to curve. Uh, in previous video I showed you. Okay, add the annotation. In this case we have to use option surface. That's fine if we have got one of the annotations uh, connected to because you will then have to convert. But make sure you copy clockwise from uh, this point to this point, as I showed you in previous video. We have to change the resolution of our curve uh, at least to 3. After that, you have to clean up curve. Sorry, I have to turn this off because I don't like fading geometry. In option curve, go to clean up. As you can see, we, ca we also have to uh, use option in handles, not just select it, but all. Because even if you don't select handles, you can see them. Because they will be used to manipulate our curve. Uh, also, I must uh, change resolution. As you can see, now we have beautiful resolution. Uh, okay, what next? We have to turn this on, snap option, vertex, closest, only move. This must be deselected and this. I use box select to be able to uh, snap end of point. And uh, please people make sure 
When you copy curve, it must be done in edit mode. Uh, now we have to snap to this. Shift D. As you can see, Shift D. I, I believe this should work. This is my new method. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. We will see. Uh, this option will delete previous operations. So you cannot undo. But we will have large file. This option is useful when your file w is too large. You can revert. But before that you save your project. Now people, we have to select. Uh, points. We can speed uh, we can speed this up um, by uh, clicking dynamic context menu and search. You, but you have to activate this in option add-ons. By default, it's not active. But I like very much because you can type command. And you can use this option. This really, this will speed things up. Okay, now in option curve, we need to select this. We have to generate polygon. You can easy. We generated polygon. We uh, we also have option stretch. This will close gap between our polygons. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, what what I could uh, show you. Because we can still money, we can still money if you like this. I like very much this option. Uh, we also have uh, ability to do like that. Uh, no, I, what I will show you. Uh, now what I will do instead, we can also manipulate our curve like that. As long as you know what you do, we can also subdivide if you want to have more segments. Uh, we can also scale this if you want. Uh, connected only. This will give us a uh, very beautiful transition between two objects. As you can see, we have very beautiful uh, bevel. I hope you like my video and have a nice day, people.